Hey everybody, it is Lee, been the owner of Amara Day Spa, and I'm here to talk to you guys about our amazing service project that we have the opportunity to do this year as a company. Um, and I wanna share with you why we chose to work with Utah Foster Care this year, and it's kind of a personal story, so hang tight with me. Um, so uh, my older brother, two years older than me, he has always struggled with drug addiction, and he passed away a couple years ago, leaving behind a son um, who's my nephew who will be nine this year. Um, and in June, his mom had another child and that child was in the NICU going through drug withdrawals for quite some time. Um, because of those circumstances, the state had to get involved, um, to help to give my nephew and his new half brother a a better chance at life. So the state came in and took them and placed them into the foster system. Um, and that really hits home because I didn't really ever know much about the foster system or Utah foster care. I've heard things just like you have, um, but I didn't know how awesome and amazing it was and, and how much they try to help these kids. Um, and so We've learned a lot about how we can help as a community for all these kids. There's 600 kids just in our area that are foster kids, and they need a ton of items such as underwear and socks and bras and shampoo, conditioners, deodorants, tampons, all the things that we all have just as our basic necessities that we just go to the grocery store and buy. And something that is unique about foster kids is a lot of the time, not always, but a lot of the time when the state comes in, if they were to give the parents warning that they were gonna come in and take their kids, these parents would flee or they would take off with their kids so the state couldn't find them. And so a lot of times when the state shows up, they, you know, the children get to take a garbage sack with them of their belongings and that's it. Um, and that's what happened with my nephew. So when these children show up to the foster homes with these amazing families that are willing to take them in, they don't have much. And a lot of times the families that are willing to take them in are taking in a lot of kids or maybe don't have, you know, tons and tons of resources of money to, to try to support them with even just the basic things of, you know, socks and underwear and hygiene items. And so we are teaming up with our entire company, Linden Elementary, which is where my kids go to school, um, other members of the community, um, queens from each of the different cities, local cities who are helping us to get word out, and a lot of other people to collect items for these kids. And our role as a company is to collect hygiene items. Linden Elementary is putting together stockings for these kids. Um, and the Queens are helping us with our items. So there's a lot of things that we're doing as a community to help get all 600 kids the things that they need. And we're so blessed and so grateful that we are able to help these kids that are just like my nephew to be able to have just those basic necessities and to help the families who are willing to take their time and their love to care for these kids and um, give them a little edge up. So that's one thing that we're doing as well as as a company, we are, our service providers are donating their time next Monday night to give services to all of these kids um, ages zero to 18 and we're doing anything from haircuts to nails um, to acne treatments for teenagers to just simple things that can help them to feel really good about themselves and statistics show that if these kids can connect to a couple of different experiences throughout their life that are really good experiences, that their chances of success go way up, especially after they've been going through things like sexual abuse, drug abuse, domestic violence, and, and the things that they got taken from their homes in the first place. So we're so excited to be able to do that for these kids. Um, and I also wanna note that I know that all parents love their kids, and I know that the, like my, um, nephew's mom loves her child more than anything. She just has something that she's fighting and she's not able to take care of him right now. So we want to help to be able to give back to the foster mom that is taking these kids in. So I hope that all makes sense. I hope it wasn't all jumbled. Um, please help us out by donating. We have a Venmo account at Amara Foster. We also, you can donate at our registers, any cash amount. Um, or you can bring in any hygiene items, new hygiene items to our ORM or Lehigh locations. Um, and just please DM me or um, anybody and let us know if you have questions. Call us if you want to know how to help. We're so excited to be able to give back this year. Thank you and have an amazing holiday season.